It's surprising, but they don't. Yeah. Um, people come in from wherever they are, and they bring whatever they're eating, and they, we sit in companionable silence, and it's actually the most beautiful um, event. What, what about <laughs> the idea? Actually, it was, I think it was started uh, in the States in 2012, and it's actually a global thing. Um, it's sort of happening all over the place, and you can look online for the Silent Book Club, and they, they even show you how to start it. And it was brought to South Africa by um, my collaborator, Anna Maria Panait, mm -hmm. who is unfortunately unable to join us today. Um, um, and um, well, why would what somebody need? I mean, I could do this at home. If I'm not going to sit and talk to anyone, and I'm not going to discuss a book and discuss a plot or whatever it is, why would I want to be in the company of others but not be able to talk about it? I could do it at home. That's so interesting. I, I, I don't know what happens when all these people come together. It feels weirdly like prayer. When all, when a lot of people are invested in silence and creating silence something else happens. There was the feedback from um, the events that we've had was that people have never read so deeply mm. or so, so much. It's, it's, it's different. There's something else that happens when you're reading with other people. Where when did you start with this people. one with the, with, the, with the institute? We've held two events at the institute um, and I think it started in August um, and we're going to have uh, two more this year, in, uh, on the 17th of October and in November as well. Well, so it's not something that would happen on a weekly basis. You set the dates, you schedule the time, and then is, is it by invitation only? Or it's on Facebook. Anybody? It's on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. And does everybody read a different book, or, or is everybody reading the same thing? Everybody's reading whatever they want oh. to read. I mean, people were reading Steve Biko, they were reading Freud, some people were reading sort of trashy romance novels. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> you know, whatever people Mm. we're doing at the time and that's what makes it so interesting is that you just get this beautiful cross-section of what people are interested in. I suppose it's just creating the atmosphere for, for, for people. Yeah, I almost think about like a meditative mm. meditation type of opportunity but uh, it creates focus mm -hmm. and uh, does it build a network uh, somehow of people who are book club goers? Definitely. Um, the people who came the first time uh, keep coming mm. and yeah. they, they keep asking for for you know more events and no kids I'm assuming